Okay, here's an update on the proton pack that I've been working on from Cardboard. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen my previous video on the way it looked it look when I got started. So this is what I've done so far. And uh, I'm still waiting on a few items for it. Uh, I need another tubing to go on the wand here that I made, which is also from Cardboard. And a few other loose items that I have here at home. Also, there's a light inside. The light was purchased from Walgreens for $3.99 little pumpkin type of light and I kind of chiseled the pumpkin away and uh, fit it on the inside of here from underneath here. Anyway, I'm also waiting on stickers to come in the mail for it, all the labels and the uh, ribbon cable that will go from here through this tubing and then be inserted down here. Now here's some extras that I added on here that are just my own special touch. Right here, this little unit here, this item, this is antifreeze. I just felt like, you know, having something that's liquidy that you can actually see moving around on here actually give a little bit more realism to it. Also, a spark plug, which is from one of my cars that's old. I added it on here just to, again, give it a little bit more realism to it. Speaking of lights, lights actually work on this pack. Click it there, it's the Try Me uh, button and it makes the light work. The lights, those lights, those particular lights there came from Walgreens. Also, I have a light here on the side and all these lights, they have to be turned on manually. They're, they're not connected and then inserted into the tube that goes to the wand and you click one button and everything comes on. You have to do each one separately and by hand. Now with this blue light on the side uh, in the power cell, I can speed this light Manually, manually like this or slow it down so it can kind of match the uh, lights on the cyclotron. So this is it so far and uh, I'm quite pleased with it. For the gun, for the wand, for this unit here, I've added wood inside of this. This was actually an empty cardboard uh, unit that I built and then it, the, the wine had so much weight on it when I made it. At first, I was going to make it and it was going to be light. At least that's what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be uh, fairly light. But it ended up having a lot of weight on it. So just for extra strength, I added uh, a wood inside of here, bolted it down. And this side is really sturdy. I mean, you can shake the crap out of it and it's not going anywhere. Also, the ion arm. Is also at first again is hollow it just cardboard but I want extra strength because I, I was reading from the web board over at uh, gbfans.com that's where I got the um, idea and, and the plans for making this proton pack but uh, they were saying that this unit for, for this, this area of the proton pack for whatever reason people like to pull on it so I was like, okay, I'm concerned by this. I mean, if these guys are saying this is like a runway station for people, they love it for whatever reason, I need to make it sturdy. So that's what I did. I inserted a, a piece of wood up in here, screwed it on to the back of the uh, motherboard, which is wood, by the way, solid wood, and uh, inserted it into the cardboard here. And again, sturdy. I mean, I can pick this entire pack up with just the size here. I mean, that's, that's just how strong this is. But the outside pieces of it is cardboard. So um, this is it so far. Now the Alice frame, chair is, is just one chair from the patio. Uh, I decided to hack it up. I put my son's old uh, backpack straps on it. And there we are here. So uh, thank you for viewing.